Very recently in France, a teacher was beheaded. He was beheaded because he had spoken to his class about censorship, freedom of expression, free speech and secularism, things that are fundamental to the identity of the French Republic. He was beheaded by a Muslim who was incensed at this. He had used and discussed cartoons of the Islamic prophet Muhammad to facilitate the discussion. And it's not hard to understand why. We know what happened in France in 2015 when cartoonists at Charlie Hebdo were slaughtered. For the same reason, Muslims incensed that people, non-Muslims, were discussing their religion and using cartoons to satirise their religion. This is absolutely unacceptable in the Islamic faith. It doesn't tolerate secularism, free speech, free expression or satire, and it doesn't tolerate any depictions of Muhammad. It doesn't tolerate it from people inside the religion or people outside the religion. There are, of course, individual Muslims who believe in free expression, but Islam doesn't. It has a death penalty for it. It applies the death penalty for it. And in many Muslim states across the world, the death penalty is enforced by the state for blasphemy or apostasy or both. We have a serious, serious clash of cultures here. And many of us have known this for some time, but it's becoming more and more evident. France is a country that its identity, back going back to the French Revolution, when the French Republic was formed and it's grown in the direction of liberty, of satire, of free speech, that is fundamental to France. It also has a huge and growing Muslim population which do not accept this. And as a result, France is getting more and more divided. The political left, naturally enough, is siding with the totalitarians on the Islamic side. They call it hate speech, any disagreement with them. The Muslims call it Islamophobia, but Islamophobia is simply free speech. It is our ability to satirise and criticise religion. And it is something that not just France, but across Europe, we have fought for for centuries. This has not come out of thin air. Ancestors, our ancestors fought and died for our freedom of expression. It's vital in Europe. It's important to us. And we have a choice to make. Are we going to keep it? Or are we going to allow it to be taken away by people who have come here. This is an immigration issue, whether we like it or not. France has this many Muslims because of immigration. It is not traditionally a Muslim society. Muslims migrated to France, and that's why they have these problems. And we have similar problems in the UK, and also because Muslims migrated here. We have FGM, a largely Muslim practice, now part of the landscape in the UK. We have had riots in the streets. We have had censorship and violence or threats of violence and we've had a press terrified even to reprint the very cartoons that got people killed in Paris a few years ago. Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, has done something quite unusual for a European leader. He has come out strong in defence of French secularism and French freedom of speech. He is doing so against a large swathe, large swathes of the Muslim world, not tiny minorities, but leaders, including the leader of Pakistan and the leader of Turkey, who have, in a spectacular hypocrisy, accused France of not respecting freedom of belief. What France is doing is respecting freedom of belief. It is Pakistan and Turkey who do not respect freedom of belief. And they are attacking France as Islamophobes. They are boycotting French products across the Middle East and beyond because the French are apparently excluding Muslims from French society. And let's be very clear, it is Muslims who are excluding themselves from French society. It is Muslims who refuse to accept the liberties upon which France is built and on which French people and Europeans generally fought and died over centuries to create. It is Muslims who want Sharia. It is Muslims who won't accept European culture. It is they who are excluding 
themselves. And now we have this these attacks on France. Anyone would think it was French people who had beheaded Muslims. It's the other way around. And yet France has been made the enemy. It's France who is the problem here. This is the Orwellian upside down world we are living in. But it has to be clearer to those of us who are able to see sanity. The real problem here is that Islam does not accept freedom. Islam has come to Europe and it does not accept European freedom. And Europeans have watered down our freedoms to accommodate Islam. Now, Emmanuel Macron, as I say, has made some strong defences of free speech, of secularism. But it seems to me that he's standing alone. We should be backing President Macron. I'm not a big fan of his, but at this time, we need to come together as Europeans and give him our support. As people who believe in free speech, we must give our support to Macron. I am asking, I'm calling upon Boris Johnson and other European leaders to vocally support and back Emmanuel Macron in his defence of freedom of speech and our right as Europeans to satirise, to mock, to criticise religion or any other form of political power. We must be able to do that. It is fundamental to our democracy and our freedoms. You know, Muslim countries are very, very quick to come out and condemn France. And yet we in the West, it's tumbleweed. We are not coming out and defending our neighbour. We must, we should. So if you believe in free speech, defend France, back France. And as Middle Eastern countries and beyond are boycotting French products, can we buy some? Buy something French. When you go out shopping, buy something French. Buy a few things French. We can still give that little bit of support to the French at this time. They deserve it. They need it. Our democracy, our civilization, our freedom needs it and requires it. Let's stand up with France, give it our backing, stand shoulder to shoulder with France in defence of free speech across Europe. Boris Johnson, say something. Back him, support him, speak out and make sure they know, those across the Middle East who are boycotting us and attacking us, make sure they know that Macron does not stand alone, that Europe, not just France, values its freedoms. Let's say something. Let's give our support to France, to freedom of speech and to Emmanuel Macron.